Hi, uh, this video is very simply how to change a light bulb. It's quite amazing how many people can't do this, but uh, there we are, we all have the first time of doing it. Um, we'll also have a very quick look at the uh, energy saving lamps, which we can replace our old tungsten filament lamps with. I mean, tungsten filaments were in fact uh, replaced and not very energy efficient at all. And uh, although they may only cost you 10p a day to run the old tungsten filament lamp, uh, why pay 10p a day when you can pay less than a penny a day for one of these? And we're talking about 24 hours there. Now this is the uh, halogen lamps. Now this is a small version of it. Once again, the bayonet fitting, pretty standard in your um, domestic lighting. Uh, the halogen lamp is cheaper to run than the old tungsten filament but it's still not as cheap as the energy saving leds and tubes what we get now um, these are a bayonet fitting lamp these are much cheaper to run and they last a lot longer they're more expensive to buy but the uh, the um depending on the quality you buy you'll get thousands of hours use out of it and uh you'll save a lot of money. Now, it's called the bayonet fitting lamp. Just the same as the old type. It's called a bayonet fitting because it has a, a, a bayonet type fixture. Um, this is the ceiling rose here. And this fitting is sealing that way off. Now, when you take your bulb out, the way you get it out is your bulb sits inside this like that. And it's hanging down from the ceiling. It may be on a pendulum fitting, but for the sake of these, I'll show you on this. And the same, the same as in your pendulum fitting. They're sprung contacts. Those two contacts in there, they are live even if your light switch is turned off, depending on what sort of circuitry your light system is working on. But believe me, they can be live even when your light's off. Um, as a matter of fact, my first interest in electricity came at 14 years old when I was curious. The light switch was off. I took the bulb out and I wanted to see what these were all about. So I stuck my finger in there and I got a nasty shock. So I know they are definitely on, even though your light switch is off. One side of it will still be on. And if you're standing on the floor, you will mostly certainly get quite a good shock, possibly kill you. So... You've got spring contacts there, and your two contacts on the lamp are underneath. These two contacts make contact with those sprung. You can feel the sprung because they're bouncy. Now, don't stick your finger in the light socket just to prove that. Now, as I've said before, this is hanging that way up. Okay. Now, you'll see on the side there, you've got that hook movement. It's the same both sides, and these are opposite each other. Okay, now the two pips, each side on the light bulb, go into this. I'll show you what we mean. These go in like that. That's how it sits on its own without being touched. Now, we push down on it, hold it down, turn it, and you can let go. And there we are, that's how it's done. On the pendulum light fitting, you need to take hold of the fitting so that you can get uh, some pressure behind it. You'll need a step ladder, someone to hold the step ladder, and <coughs> maybe even a torch. Of course, with today's <coughs> health and safety standards, you're going to need a uh, steel toe cap boots, yellow reflective jacket, um, knee pads, and uh, a white helmet as well. Hmm, yeah, well, we're all going to do that, aren't we? Um, so that's how it fits in there. Turn the electricity off first before you even touch the bulb. <clears throat> Turn the light switch off. Um, if there's any damage to this, call an electrician in. If the light bulb is stuck in there, don't force it, because you may break the glass, and then you can give yourself a serious cut. Uh, also, wait a few minutes till the lamp has gone cold because this metal part around here, this skirt, can
can get extremely hot and it will give you a serious burn. So when your light bulb goes, wait a few minutes, make sure it's turned off at the light switch. Don't get sticking your finger in the socket there. As long as it's all in good condition, you should be able to change it. If it sticks, don't force it. You may have to uh, consider turning your power off to the lighting circuit, putting a rag around it, and then try to move it. If you don't feel happy about doing that, call an electrician in, he'll do it for you. And then you can take your new energy saving ball here, energy saving lamp, and they fit in just exactly the same way. Bayonet fitting. And there they are. And they'll be hanging from a ceiling like that. And it will be saving you a lot of money. This particular bulb is faulty. I've had it for years, that one. But they do last a long time. It saves you money. And if you leave the light on, you're not going to worry about oh, it's costing money. Because it's costing very, very little. When you've changed your light bulb and you've fitted it in, and it's slotted in there nicely, you can then turn your switch on and it'll light up. If it doesn't, it could be one or two things wrong. It could be that the uh, fuse is gone, or maybe if you've yanked down on the pendulum fitting, that's where it hangs and swings from the ceiling, uh, you may have uh, pulled the wire out. But it's probably the fuse may have gone um, if the bulb was gone in the old type. Um, if especially if it's the old type bulb, because sometimes the filament would break and part of it would drop down across the electrodes inside the bulb and short it directly out, and that will blow your MCB. I mean, it's a circuit breaker because it draws too much current then, and that would probably be the fault. Another reason um, a light bulb keeps blowing, especially in the kitchen, and blowing fuses, um, is because of the grease in the kitchen. It floats around in the air, it lands in there, it lands in there. It shorts out the contacts um, on places you can see and places you can't see. And you may have to put a new pendulum fitting in your kitchen uh, to stop this from happening. But that's uh, quite a common fault with the kitchen light continually blowing the MCB. It's because of all the grease and the steam um, causing it to short out. Um, so there we are, and that's how we change a light bulb. Just be very careful, make sure your switch is off, and if you don't feel confident to do it yourself, then get someone else to do it. And always get help when you're walking up a stepladder. Because if something should slip, you could well slip off the ladder. So get someone to help you do that. And keep a torch in your fuse cupboard. So that if your fuses go, you've always got a torch at hand. Together with the phone number of your local electrician. Okay? Thanks for listening. Bye for now.